can't sit down. Fall down. Well, get up behind it. Anyway, <coughs> I come all this way to tell you a story, okay? Howdy there, young fella. Hi. Once upon a time in a corn country, there lived a beautiful girl, and her name was Rendersella. Now, Rendersella lived with her mugly other and two sad listers. Who well, also in this same corn country, there lived a pransome hens. And one day, this pransome hens decided he was going to give a fancy fall and invite all the people from miles around, especially the pitch reaper. Well, Rendersella's mugly other and two sad listers, they went out to buy some prancy fresses for the fancy fall. But Rendersella couldn't go because all she had to wear were some old rirty dags. So she just cat down and shried. And she was kitten there and a shrying. And all of a sudden there appeared her Gary Mudfather. And he waved his magic man. And there appeared before her a King Boach and Hicks White Sources to take her to the Bansy Fall. Well, he said, Rendersella, you gotta be home by midnight or I'll turn you into a tumpkin. So Rendersella went to that Bansy Fall. And the Pransom Hints met her at the door because he'd been watching from behind a wooden hinder. Well, Rendersella and her Pransom Hints, they danced all night and they well in fun. Well, all of a sudden, the mid clock struck night and Rendersella draced down the rive and just as she beats the rodham, she slopped her dripper. Well, that pransom hence, he went all over that corn country looking for the beautiful girl who dropped her slopped her dripper. And he finally got to Rendersella's house. And he tried it on her mugly other. It fit and did. He tried it on her two sigly esters. It fit and did. And then he tried it on Rendersella. And it fit it. It was just the sight rise. So Rendersella and her pransom hints, they got married and lived heavily after happily. Now the story of the Mori is this. If you go to a Bansy Fall and you want to pransom hints to wall and fub with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs>